Welcome to the Sahara TV Top Headlines from Across Africa. I'm Karen Atia. Ghanaian President Mr. John Atta Mills died last Tuesday. Mills, who died at the age of 68 of throat cancer, was in the running for re-election in the presidential contest coming up in December. John Mahama, the Vice President, was sworn in as Ghana's new leader in a matter of hours following Atta Mills' death. He has been selected as the official flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress Party. Ghana has been hailed as a democratic example for the rest of Africa due to its smooth constitutional transition of power. The, the European Union has lifted its economic sanctions on Zimbabwe. This move comes after Zimbabwe decided to hold a referendum on its constitution and plans to hold democratic elections sometime next year. Zimbabwe has been under economic sanctions from the EU for nearly a decade due to political and human rights abuses in the country. More than 100 top Zimbabwean officials have been under a travel ban and have had their assets frozen by the EU. The EU says this move will further encourage democratic reforms in the country. The West is withdrawing aid to Rwanda over its ties to rebels fighting in nearby Democratic Republic of Congo. The United States, the United Kingdom, and the Netherlands have suspended their aid programs to the country after a recent United Nations report alleges that the Rwandan government has been supporting the M23 rebels that defected from the Congolese government in April. Since the defection, 200,000 people have fled their homes. The Rwanda government has challenged the UN report, calling it one-sided. The London Olympic Games have begun and Africa's 53 teams are shooting for the gold. The Nigerian basketball team is competing for the first time in the Games. Other notable athletes from the continent include Egypt's Aya Medani, who competes in the modern pentathlon and is the only elite pentathlete who wears a hijab. South African runner Castor Semenya, who made headlines several years ago when her gender was called into question after re winning the World Championships, will be comp competing in her first Games. Benjamin Bukpete, a canoeist, will be representing his father's homeland of Togo. He was the first man to win an Olympic medal for Togo in Beijing and the first black man to win a medal in kayaking. That's all for the top headlines from Sahara TV. Stay tuned. I'm Karen Atia.